Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you're watching Chart.js tutorial series. In this video, you're going to learn how to draw a bar graph using Chart.js. So, let's get started. Open the project folder Chart.js2 and inside it, create a new file and save it as bar.html. Now write the basic HTML. So, we have the doc type HTML. Then we have the opening and closing HTML tag. We have the head tag and inside it we have the title tag set to chart.js bar. Then we are including the default.css file which is inside the CSS folder. And inside the body tag we are including jquery.min.js file and chart.min.js file which are inside the JS folder. Now create a new file inside the JS folder and save it as bar.js. This is where we'll write the JavaScript that will create the bar graph. Now go back to bar.html file and include the bar.js file. So we'll write script src.js slash bar.js. And we'll hit save. Now inside the body tag, let us go ahead and create a div and give it a class chart container. And inside this div, let us create a canvas and give it an ID bar chart canvas. and save. This is the canvas in which we are going to draw the bar graph. Alright guys, now it's time to write some JavaScript. So open bar.js file and we'll write dollar document dot ready function. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to get this element canvas having id bar chart canvas so we'll write var ctx dollar hash bar dash chart canvas now in order to create the graph we have to instantiate the chart class so for this we'll write var chart equal to new chart this constructor takes two argument the first one is the variable ctx and the second is an object and since we are drawing a bar graph so we'll set the type to bar and then we have the data property which is an object and options property which is another object we'll hit save and now if we open this bar.html file in our web browser we'll get an empty graph in this video we are going to draw bar graph for two teams team a and team b and we are going to show their scores for five matches match one match two till match five so for that we'll create a data variable so we'll write var data which is an object and the first property is labels which is an array and each element of this array is the name of the match so the first element is match one second is match two then match three match four and finally match five the next property is data sets which is also an array 
and each element of this array is an object. So we'll create the first object for team A. So we'll write label and we'll set this to team A score. Then we have data which is an array. This will hold the score of team A. So we have 10 for match 1, 50 for match 2, 25 for match 3, 70 for match 4 and 40 for match 5. Then the next property is background color. which is an array for each bar will set the color and for this example I'll use RGBA that is red green blue and alpha so I'll set 10 20 30 0.3 so red is 10 green is 20 blue is 30 and a alpha is 0.3 and for match 2 same color for 3 4 and 5 same color the next property that we are going to set is border color which is also an array and in this case we'll use the same rgba value same as background color and we'll set the a value to one. So one means opacity is 100% and if the alpha value is set to 0 0.3 it means the opacity is 30%. Moving on the next property that we are going to set is border width and we'll set this to 1. Save now we'll create the second element of this data set array containing score for team B. So let me go ahead and copy the first one and we'll set the label to team B and we'll set the score 20 for match 1, 35 for match 2, 40 for match 3, 60 for match 4, and 50 for match 5 and we'll set the background color to RGBA 50 150 and 250 and alpha value to 0 0.3 that is opacity is 30 percent and we'll set this for all the five data and we'll use the same RGBA value for border color and we'll only change the alpha value for the border color and we'll set this to one that is Opacity 100%. Now save. Now we'll use this data for this data property. So we'll replace this with data and we'll hit save. Now go back to bar.html file and if we reload we get the bar graph. Now let us create the title for this bar graph. So for that we'll create another variable var options which is an object and we'll set the property title which is another object and we'll set display true position top 
text bar graph font size 18 pixels and uh, font color hash 111 hit save and now we'll use this options variable for this options property so we'll replace it with options hit save and we'll open bar dot html file reload and we have the title now if you want this legend at the bottom go back to bar.js and set the legend property which is an object and set display true and position bottom save go back to bar.html and hit reload now we have the legend at the bottom now if you look at the y-axis we can see that it starts from 10 now if you want the y-axis to start from 0 we have to go back to bar.js and we have to set scales property which is an object and we have to set axis which is an array containing some objects so we have to set ticks which is an object and we have to set min to zero now save go back to bar.html and reload now the y-axis starts from zero so we have the bar graph for the two teams and their score for each match so if we place the mouse on any of the bar we can see the name of the match name of the team and the score so for example this is match 3 team a score 25 and match 3 team b score 40 similarly for others Alright guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you'll find this video interesting and helpful. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. The link is in the description. And I will also put all the code in my GitHub repository. So please check that out. The link will be there in the description. And if you find this video helpful, then please give it a like and subscribe my channel because I make new videos every week. Alright guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.